top games we could have seen on the big screen. There have been a lot of blockbuster films in recent time. There was Terminator Genesis that had Arnold showing his old physique. Though it was CGI, it was still great to have the original T-800 back. We also had Tom Hardy take over Mel Gibson in his iconic role of Crazy from Down Under, Mad Max. And more recently, of course, there was Ant-Man, which gave us the worm's eye view of the bigger picture. Get it? Huh. Anyway, so for this week's top video, we thought of games that would be fantastic on the big screen. Games have evolved from being a choreographed button mashing a jump and attack to almost blockbuster budget franchises. For some, video games used to be psychedelic trips due to their bright pixelated colors and almost repetitive gameplay mechanics. Then, there are those who used video games as the getaway from it all. The instant vacation sort of to speak. For a few hours a day, you could be either a knight in a distant realm to being a plumber who is out to rescue the love of his life. Yes, there was a time when you cried when Aerith Gainsborough died and Cloud died a little too inside. There was a time when you couldn't hold back your scream when that first zombie grabbed your foot in Resident Evil 1. But since the PS3 and Xbox 360 era, video game developers sat down and talked about how to make their games more epic, memorable, and moving. And they got so good that we think that some games could be produced as movies and we'd be totally okay with it. Coming in at number 6, Sleeping Dogs by Square Enix. Number 6 on our list is a game that will probably go down in history as a GTA 5 wannabe. But my gosh, everything about Sleeping Dogs already feels very familiar. Save for the right hand driving, the car chases are reminiscent of previous open world games. The combat, while solid, is similar to the Arkham games. But where does Sleeping Dogs stand out? The story. It's original, captivating, and emotional. The story of Sleeping Dogs follows the adventures of Wei Shen as he fights through the triads of Hong Kong by being an undercover agent for the police. The story is great. Every moment, if not tense, gets you engaged so that it makes you forget to breathe. Other than the plot of the actual game, the story writing does such a great job that it was hard to stop doing the main missions in order to do the side quests. Sleeping Dogs is a great break from the typical western styles of open world games. Sleeping Dogs is like blood in blood out meets lethal weapon. Coming in at number 5, Red Dead Redemption by Rockstar Games. The one defining factor of a video game is that the hero always comes up on top. Mario always defeats the big bad baddie, Kratos always kills that scary Greek mythical monster at the end of every stage, and Ezio Auditore always defeats the Templars. In movie terms, this is like Magnificent Seven riding off into the sunset and all these other movies of the wild wild west. And somehow, some video games decide to get on the bandwagon of having a movie like Twist at the end, wherein the hero doesn't come out on top. I know, I know. Red Dead Redemption is a story set in the year 1911 in the Wild West, and it tells the tale of John Marston's road to redemption. Having his family kidnapped by the feds, he's blackmailed to hunt down criminals he used to ride with. The story is heavy as it tells us in a subtle way that there is no rest for the wicked, and that somehow, retiring from your days of being an outlaw to live a good life and raise a family is not redemption enough. But beyond the excellent set pieces the game so intricately puts, like a blockbuster film, it's the twists of the game that makes your heart pound. Halfway through the game, similar to how you felt when the Lone Ranger went up against a whole battalion of bad guys, or how Zorro saved all those poor souls from being burnt alive, it's John Marston's tale of forced redemption. But it's the gamer's own tale of twists and turns that just catches you rooting for the code and code, good guy. Coming in at number 4, My Career NBA 2K15 by Take Two Sports. Nearly everyone has seen Rocky. Some would say it's a classic and I would agree. With the My Career mode of the latest iteration of the NBA series, something they've done since time immemorial, there's a new twist this time around. Unlike previous My Career modes where in your guaranteed a contract from any of the 30 teams in the NBA via draft pick, this time there's a new plot wherein you, as the player, were not picked in the draft. And yes, this involves major sadness 
for the inner baller in you. Your agent at your request will try to get you tryouts, then might land you a 10-day contract that eventually, if the team you've chosen likes you, will sign you for the rest of the season. Now this is reminiscent of Coach Carter or Hoosers, where you go against all odds and rise to the top of the food chain. No longer will a Mavs fan have to simulate a whole season simply because he was picked by the Celtics. This time you get to select the team you try out for. It's an interesting take because once you're signed, one NBA player from every team will coach you in your road in the league. Another nice addition is that Kevin Durant is voiced by none other than Kevin Durant himself. And while not everyone has the exquisite acting chops of Kevin Durant in Thunderstruck or Shaq in Shazam or Steel, the voice acting makes it feel a lot more personal, but the drama doesn't end there. At the end of your contract, your team will try to convince you to stay with them rather than go to a free agency, all while other teams will try to get you on theirs. It's an interesting mix that if you choose the right dialogue options, you can make your own movie. You too can be the next Pistol Pete. If ever they make this a movie, I got dibs on Steph Curry playing me. Coming in at number 3, Bioshock Infinite by Take 2. Everyone has seen Inception, so let me ask you this, was it a dream? You'll never know. Remember that movie that broke everybody's mind? You know what I'm talking about. But what if there was a game that toyed with your brain the same way Inception did? Look no further. If you're looking to get your brain scrambled and pulled in different directions, then play Bioshock Infinite. Like many movies that have passed the silver screens, Bioshock Infinite starts out in a quiet note with very cryptic scenes that later in the game will make more sense. It's not like other games or movies that instantly throw you into the heat of the battle. Bioshock Infinite lets you soak up the world first before destroying it with your presence in the floating city of Colombia. There's a civil war here, there's inner conflicts between the main characters there, and at the end when it seems all questions are answered and it feels like everything is explained and falls into place, the game ends with questions for the gamer. Questions that do I dare say one should answer. I mean, imagine the CGI spin they will put into this movie. It boggles my mind just to think how complex, how infinite the world of Bioshock really is. Coming in at number 2, Uncharted Among Thieves by Naughty Dog. Many children grew up fans of Indiana Jones due to the breathtaking action scenes and adventures unlike any other. In fact, Indiana Jones has been so iconic that a hat and whip is a reminder of the franchise. And while Nathan Drake doesn't have a hat or whip, what he does have is guns and witty sarcasm that more than makes up for the lack thereof. There have been three Uncharted games and a fourth one due for release next year. And while A Thief's End isn't out yet, we here at PUG agree that if there was an Uncharted game that deserves silver screen treatment, that would be Uncharted Among Thieves. Every Uncharted game is awesome, but Uncharted 2 is just so different. It's fast-paced, relentless, and just gets you going. Nathan Drake is awesome, amazing, and fitting for his adventures. Some would even agree that he is the face of the PlayStation 3, but that isn't the reason why Uncharted 2 is on the list. Yes, Nathan Drake is one of them, but it's the overall experience you get from the game where the story is unparalleled. From start to finish, you are a modern day Indiana Jones. You are playing a role in a movie. This game practically shows that the transition from video game to movie is not such a far-fetched idea after all. Coming in at number 1, Heavy Rain by Quantum Dream. Now this might come off as cheating, as Quantum Dream did in fact design Heavy Rain as less of a game and obviously more like a movie. One of our writers think it started out as a script for a movie then progressed into the console. The control scheme is different, there is no obvious combat here and it is more story driven than anything else. Heavy Rain is a murder story, a murderer called the Origami Killer. I mean with a title like Origami Killer, how can that not be catchy, right? But you end up controlling four different characters. You're tasked to finding out 
who the killer is who after his or her name leaves an origami at the scene of the crime. Dun dun dun! But the thing is, with Heavy Rain, it's not like most video games that tell you you're dead and restarts your game to a checkpoint. There's no real boss fights in Heavy Rain either. The way it goes is that if you fail a certain task, the story revolves around it and continues from that point on. The game ends in a myriad of ways, just showing you how much options you get. One of the four characters get killed because you couldn't press a QTE button right on time? Well, the story goes on. But it's not just the actions, it's also the dialogue choices you choose that affect the game. You're the scriptwriter here, and what you allow to happen is the ending of your movie. So in short, you're pretty much Sherlock Holmes in your own little murder mystery. There you have it, our top 6 games we'd love to see on the big screen. Did we miss some games that are cinema worthy? Leave a comment down below. Please hit like and subscribe and we'll give you more videos right here at Power Up Gaming.